In today's video, we're gonna show you three proven methods of getting colder air out of your vents on your HVAC system. It is currently 93 degrees outside, and so we're doing this on a really hot day to prove to you that these three methods work, and on a really hot day, you can do this in order to get cooler air out of your vents. So let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see right now, we're at 95 degrees with a high of 98. And I'm just gonna show you the actual case of the unit is in direct sunlight and we're 115 degrees, um, just kind of baking out here in the sun. The first test we're gonna do is show you what difference the temperature at the vents is with this being covered or shaded. You can do this by means of a temporary cover or if you built something here, obviously that would do the same effect. So we're gonna check our temperature at the vents and get our baseline, and then we'll cover this up and show you what it's like after. As you can see, it's 73 degrees. We're set to 70. This has been running for a solid 20 minutes now. So we should have a pretty good baseline. And as you can see, we're right at about 59 degrees coming out of the vents. So let's do our tests and see what we can get out of these vents. I don't know if you can see that, but as of right now, we're at 96 degrees. And we've done a, obviously this is a temporary measure. We've put this to where this unit is not in the sun any longer. And you'll notice right off how much colder the case is. We're measuring like 94 degrees, whereas before we were measuring 113 degrees, I think 115. So let's go inside and see what our vents are blowing now that this is in the shade. Okay, now that we have the shade covering the condenser, as you can see, we're spitting out 58.1, 57.9 degree air. So we've actually dropped about a degree just from putting something over that unit and keeping it from getting blasted by the sun. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're going to hose down the condensing unit and see what effect that has on our vents. So we're just gonna give it a good rinse as if it was raining outside. You don't wanna get it onto the fan and sling that water around too much, but you're totally fine to uh, just hose down the coils and just cool them off. We'll also check the temperature of this unit after we hose it down and see how much lower it is. Wow, 75 degrees. So giving this a rinse has helped tremendously. Really curious to see what it looks like inside. Now that we've sprayed those down, we're gonna give it like a minute or two and we'll check our vents. Now this measure is a temporary measure, obviously. As you can see, it's 96 degrees outside. So if you really just want to do this while it's really hot, just to get some cold air, you can come out here and do it. Alternatively, our third method is going to show you a sustainable method of cooling this off even when it's you know hot outside and there's sun blasting on your unit and I'm really excited to show you that as well. So after hosing down the condenser, as you can see, we're blowing out another degree cooler air or 56.6 uh, before we were at about 57.8, I think. So really impressive results from just hosing off the condenser, and I'm curious to see how long it will remain a degree cooler as well. So this right here is called the Cool and Save, and basically the premise of this product is when the fan comes on or when your AC turns on, it pushes this paddle up, which releases the water to these three ports here, and it creates a mist around your AC unit and it evaporates, causing colder air to be sucked in, increasing its efficiency by about 30%. So we're gonna install this unit and we're gonna take some measurements and see how much cooler air we can get by using this product. Super effective when it's crazy hot outside as it is right now. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's 96 degrees with a high of 98 today. So extremely hot and this is going to be a real lifesaver. So the very first thing we're gonna do is just remove this adhesive from the paddle and we're simply going to stick this in the middle. Now we're gonna make sure that this is nice and clean first. And something you wanna be aware of is some condensers don't have an even airflow like this one. They might be blowing from one area like right here. So you wanna make note of that and make your installation of the paddle 
in whatever orientation it's going to keep it flapped up like this. Now something else to keep in mind is that this kit comes with three of these nozzles and so you want to orient this if at all possible like this so that one nozzle will come to this side, one to the front, and one to this side. Because this backside, you don't really want to have water misting against the house and you want to kind of avoid that if at all possible. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this right here. And next we're going to install our actual nozzles here. Now these came separately, so we're just going to thread these into the 90 degree fitting right here. And what this is going to do is make a really fine mist. So it's not actually gonna be wetting the condensing unit, it's just going to mist the air around it and then it's going to evaporate. So next what we're gonna do is kind of measure this to make sure that this nozzle is right in the middle of this unit. We don't want it too high or too low, about right here. And something that you'll notice is that inside of here, there's actually a piece of wire. And the purpose of that is to kind of keep it um, in whichever state you bend it to. So we just bent it right there and it's gonna stay like that because of that wire. Now don't worry about the wire um, cutting into it. It doesn't have any effect on the actual function. So we're gonna clip this right here and permanently attach it. Okay, so now it's as easy as feeding it into the beige connector right here. The blue one, you'll note that's for our main supply and these beige ones are for our water supply. Now after we have these put in, we're gonna zip tie this to make sure it stays in the right position but we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all three of these. All right, so as you can see, we have these zip tied and basically this is the orientation that you want them. You want them to be paint pointed straight out. You don't want this pushing water into the unit. You want it misting the air around it and how this works is air get, gets pulled through here and it blows out of the top. So before we do our measurements, we're going to run our main supply line and what we're gonna be using is their um, sediment filter. This is also for scaling and if you have really hard water, you definitely need to change this out pretty often just to make sure that you don't get a bunch of scale built up on your coils and the outside of your unit. Now you'll notice the main hose here has the correct fitting with a, um, a filter there that will thread on a normal hose bib. So we're gonna attach this and then we'll see how it works. Okay, so we've got our main supply line. It's going around here and it's just hooking up to our water hose. And then we have our scale filter there. This was super easy to install. We just cut a piece of the line and these are quick connect fittings. So you just push it in and it's a done deal. Then if you ever need to remove this to replace it, you simply push and pull on the hose at the same time, and that's it. Now if I just try and pull, this will not come out. So let's get our water turned on and see what it looks like with this running. So I'm not sure if you can see this, but the air is definitely being pulled in. So this mist is cooling this area. I can feel it clear back here, and then it's pulling that air right back into the unit. Now what's really cool is you can see the water evaporating as it hits the coil. That's pretty fascinating because this coil is really hot. It's just, it's pulling a lot of heat from these coils and so it's evaporating as soon as it touches it, which is pretty fascinating. And then as you can see, if we were to simulate this unit being off, the misters would then stop. It takes a few seconds for that residual water to stop coming out. And then as soon as we let off, gonna let this run for about five minutes and show you what the temperature is inside as you can see it's 97 degrees so the temperature has gone up a little bit but we're we're gonna check the vents and see what temperature after we have these misters put on now as you can see if you bend these right you're not gonna have to put any zip ties so that's why they don't come with the system but if you're like me you can throw a zip tie on just to make sure the wind doesn't blow this around and make sure that it's misting the proper area as you can see we're spitting out between 56.2 and 3 degrees. So definitely cooler air with the misting system and all of these three things combined. Well guys, we managed to get three degrees out of this system, which I thought was pretty impressive with these three simple methods. 
Now, in addition to that, it was 95 degrees when we started this test and it was 97 when we finished the test. So even with the increase in temperature of several degrees, we were able to bring that temperature down and that three degrees could be really critical when it's blazing hot outside and you're just trying to get a little bit more cooling capacity out of your system. Now, if you're interested in the cool and save, check it out in the video description and you can find that there. Now, if you suspect that there's actually something wrong with your system, check out this video right here where we show the top four most common repairs on your HVAC system. If it's not cooling well, you'd be surprised how easy some of these are and I feel like any DIYer can tackle some of them. So check it out right there. And until next time, you guys be safe. Later.